love to get the crowd involved at the armory and Sobey comes up with a steal. They're doing a bit right early on. Patterson once more. Why not? Back to back trebles. Patterson back to back threes. Last season averaged 30 minutes a game, Cam Glidden. Averaged 14 points. This season, 18 minutes a game for six points. He's kick it. Does Daniel kick it things? Made his presence felt also. Tate, it all opens up oh, for Jack wow. Sean Tate. And he hammers it down. Oh my. That was just quick ups too. And the seas just parted for him. Look at that. Has been riding him as an assistant coach up at Brisbane to, you know, not be afraid of missing some, which I think any good shooter hammer, you're never afraid of missing a few. I hope Sammy's not his shooting coach. Glidden starting tonight, and a couple of looks. That's a good pass, and good. Magnate all the way to the cup and the big dunk. If Dane Pinot doesn't win the most improved player, surely it's got to be Sean Bruce. He's certainly in that conversation, Glidden for three. Right shots and defending like crazy. That's more of what we've come to know from Cameron. Rebound by Magnate. A chance for the Bullets to push the ball. Singler got his man up in the air, works together with Taylor Braun, who gets it to go down. A fantastic fight back by the Bullets. As Lazada throws it away. Here's the chance to take the lead. Braun to Singler, they collaborate again. Bullets in front. Kadi, early in the offense. Bang. No one came at him. Taylor Braun and EJ Sinkler out there to kick things off for the second half. It's Brisbane leading by three. Kadi working together with Magnate. Nice play from the Bullets. Great start to the half for the Bullets. Really good read from Jason Kadi. I don't like it when he's in the lineup, starting game, starting halves as well. Very, very smart pick and roll offensive player. He, we know he. Brisbane starting to build some momentum once more. That's Magne underneath, fumbled the pass. Didn't matter, the big man elevates. Start. Just no weak side help whatsoever on that pick and roll. The weak side's got to be really active and go and help him out because they're not used to doing it. I've seen him the last couple of times come out a little bit further Ooh. than what we've traditionally seen him do so far this season. Massive block. <laughs> sure, didn't dent at the floor. To him. He's trying to get open. <laughs> Braun gets busy. Everything going Brisbane's way in this third period. Here's Bogut. S just sending a message to Magnate. Intensity from the Sydney Kings at the defensive end has gone up another notch. Where with a floater. So tough. Strapping him to his back and says, come with me, boy. And Trang is probably not going to get it done, so good call, good timeout. Had to work through some issues with glandular fever. He's firing on all cylinders. To the rim! Oh, there he goes again and again. Forced a tough shot from where? Here's Patterson trying to get in on the axe. Oh, that is huge. Brisbane making their move out of the timeout. Well inside two minutes. One good possession here from Brisbane. And that will take care of it through Nathan Suck. It's a value of tempo, isn't it? It's not what you do, it's how you do it. Tate picks up the foul on Magne. They're not going away just yet. Couldn't work in the end. And Brisbane rejoice. Didn't see this coming before the game. Not many people expected Sydney to get beaten by the Bullets who've been struggling, but in the context of a season, congratulations, Andre Lamanis. Congratulations, Brisbane Bullets. Massive win.